KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Good Saturday morning to you. It's the Weather Extreme video for October 5th, 2019. I'm Scott Martin, hopefully bringing you some good news in the weather department. Rain chances are on the rise for the weekend and into Monday. The one thing that won't be rising as highs will drop back into the 70s and 80s to end the weekend and start the work week. We'll just have to get through today's last run of the blast furnace. More on that in just a moment. At 6.55 this morning, we have a few clouds over the southern parts of central Alabama, while skies are clear across the northern parts of the area. Temperatures are in the lower 60s to the lower 70s across the area at this time. Birmingham was at 72 degrees, tied with several other locations as the warm spots. Coleman was the cool spot at 60 degrees. No watches or advisories are in effect across the state this morning, and it should stay that way through the remainder of the day. While we do have a small risk of a few isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms across the state today, there is no risk of organized severe weather. The drought continues to worsen across the state with every location defined in some level of drought intensity. Much of the state is abnormally dry, but we do have a few locations in an extreme drought. Those locations in central Alabama include parts of Shelby County, along with parts of Coosa, Tallapoosa, and Elmore counties. Extreme drought conditions persist in parts of Jackson County in North Alabama and parts of Dale, Henry, Coffee, Geneva, and Covington Counties in South Alabama. Some good news is that the QPF map shows a mix of colors over the state of Alabama, which means we finally get some rainfall. Much of central Alabama is forecast to get over one half inch to nearly one inch of rain over the next seven days, while some in the northern parts of the state could get up to two inches. While it's not drought busting rainfall, it may keep conditions from worsening this week. So for today's weather, we may continue our streak of record breaking high temperatures across parts of the area, but a backdoor wedge will be forcing in more moisture rich air into the eastern parts of central Alabama. This will bring a decent chance of scattered afternoon and early evening showers and thunderstorms for the entire area, but the higher risk will be on the eastern half of the area. Afternoon highs will reach the mid-90s across the area with a few hitting the upper 90s. Rain chances will be in the 20 to 50 percent range from west to east. For tonight, the focus of the better rain chances shifts to the northwestern parts of the area. Those chances will range from 20 to 50 percent from southeast to northwest. Lows will be in the mid to upper 60s for most. For your Sunday, sometimes you would hate for it to rain on the weekend but after the miserable and dry late summer and early fall that we've had, I'm sure most of us would take a few showers across central Alabama. A cold front will be approaching from the northwest, and with an already moist atmosphere out ahead of it, we'll see higher rain chances, especially for the northwestern parts of the area. Afternoon highs will be in the mid to upper 80s across the area. Rain chances will be in the 20 to 60 percent range from southeast to northwest. Those rain chances will actually rise during the late night and overnight hours as the front starts to move into the northwest corner of central Alabama. For your Monday and Tuesday, our real first shot of fall weather will come on Monday as the cold front will continue to work through central Alabama. We'll have periods of showers and a few claps of thunder, but no severe weather is expected. Highs will be in the lower 70s to the upper 80s across the area from northwest to southeast. The front will be out of the area on Tuesday, but a few lingering showers are possible over the southeastern portions during the day. Skies will be clearing behind that, with highs reaching the upper 70s to the mid 80s across the area from north to south. For Wednesday and Thursday, this latest run of the models have introduced a small chance of a few isolated showers across central Alabama during the heating of the day on Wednesday, especially for the southern half of the area. Highs will be back up in the lower to mid 80s. Much of the same story for Thursday, but the focus of the small chance of isolated showers moves to the western parts of the state as another cold front approaches from the west. Highs will be in the lower to mid 80s. On Friday, the cold front will move through central Alabama through the daylight hours, but it will be losing its punch as it moves eastward. Rain chances will be highest during the morning hours on the western side of the area, but at at this point, those rain chances only top out at 30%. The front looks to lose moisture as it moves through the area, so rain chances will diminish somewhat through the day. Highs will be in the upper 70s to the mid 80s. Now taking a look at the tropics, 
For now, all of the Atlantic Basin is quiet, but in a few days we could see a tropical disturbance develop over the northern Atlantic in between the Azores and Bermuda. There is a medium chance of tropical or subtropical development with this disturbance during the middle of next week as it moves west, and the National Hurricane Center is giving it a 40% chance of growing into a depression. That is all for your Weather Extreme video for today. We'll have notes on the blog throughout your Saturday. The next video will be out bright and early on Sunday morning, produced by Bill Murray. I'm Scott Martin, signing off for today. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.